Hello friend and welcome back to the channel or if you're new welcome it's nice to have you. Today we're talking about the Spectra controller by Power A and if you've been with the channel for a while you know that Power A is a brand I've got a lot of love for they do a lot of great controllers. Uh, this particular controller is an Xbox One controller which is uh, retailing for about £35 or more. I picked this one up from Wooden Bashers, but you can get this from pretty much anywhere. There's lots of different variants of the Spectra as well. So let's open it up, find out what it's all about. So straight off the bat, it looks like Power Ray have given us our own display box to keep this in, which is nice. That, uh, that definitely shows how proud they are of it. Yeah, I managed to rip the packaging, which is a shame. I was trying to get it done without ripping it. So we've got a matte black finish, the controller. And in the middle here, we've got this, this shiny silver bit, which I'm concerned is going to get fingerprints on it. In fact, I'm sure it is. It's already got fingerprints on it, in fact, just from getting it out of the back here, which is not good. Uh, on the back, we've got, uh, we've got illumination control buttons here. Well, let's get an initial overview of this. It's, uh, it's actually a very light controller. It's much lighter than it looks. It's molded wired usb of course um, it feels very much like your your typical xbox 360 controller it's very clicky the ones are clicky as well they feel sturdy everything feels sturdy or a nice clicky d-pad which i i like a lot Alrighty then before we can really do anything with this controller we need to do the most important thing with the controller more important than anything else is setting up the lighting so the lighting is done with these back buttons which i pointed out earlier so i'm just going to have a feel around the back and let me turn off the ring light there we go okay so we've got a, a nice rgb style pattern in the middle there we can change modes that's a, a step mode and then if we want to we can just set a specific color so let's go back round. there's a lot of different colors we can choose from We'll set that RGB. Now there's another button uh, for a, a different section of the controller, which is there. And as you see, we can have a completely different RGB going on. Uh, kind of step going on on the sides. This, of course, illuminates under the sticks as well. Or we can preset our sticks like that. So we'll go with RGB again. So the controller doesn't feel what I describe as cheap, but it also doesn't feel particularly premium either. Uh, I think this is just a uh, sort of quality you expect from an Xbox 360 controller. It's nothing special in that respect. The vibration is pretty good. It's quite solid. It's, it's not particularly nuanced, uh, but it's, it's there. It gives you a good shake. The only, ooh, the only downside uh, with the vibration is it's quite noisy. You can actually hear the motor rattling. Aside from that, the, uh, the, the sticks are quite solid. I don't feel like I'm overcorrecting. Yeah, I, I feel like the, uh, the, the sticks are so solid that I've got a, a good level of control. The triggers are quite sensitive, which is nice, which is always good. And uh, the buttons themselves, that they're quite clicky. You can, you can hear when it's pressed in, you can hear when the switch engages. I've got a complaint about the actual uh, quality of the controller, it's quite light. I think maybe you get that with a lot of controllers uh, that are wired. They have a tendency to be quite light. Because with a, with a wireless controller, you have the, the guts weighing the controller down. One thing that is annoying is that here on my um, my left index finger, we have this thing here, which I think is to do with uh, static and cross talk on the wires, which is all well and good, but it, is, it falls right onto the, the trigger. And that falls in the direction of, um, of the way that was packaged. I, I don't know where I am, I'm just uh, wandering around and talking. <laughs> oh yeah, there we are. 
So yeah, I'm able to be quite um, accurate with this. Of course, when you're playing, the lights add nothing. Uh, the lights are just there, but they don't make the controller warm, which is nice. It's just uh, it's quite a warm controller either way uh, because it doesn't have any kind of particular cooling on it, and it's it's a very solid plastic construction. So your hands are going to get sweaty using this, especially if you're uh, if you're in a battle and you're, you're gripping it tightly. So who's this controller for? Uh, it's a good question, really. It's it's a bit flash, really. It's it's for somebody who it's for somebody who wants to show off, I suppose, or somebody who wants to have something bright on their desk when they're not playing. You can just put it down, and it looks nice on your desk, like a little RGB glow lamp sort of thing. When you're actually playing a game, the the lights themselves don't add anything. Will it make you a better player? No. Will it make me a better player? Nothing will make me a better player. Uh, not because I'm at my best, but just because I'm old and getting slower and slower. Alrighty then, you still know the important question by now. Would I use this controller again? The Power A Spectra Illuminated Controller. Well, honestly, it looks nice, it'll look great on my desk, I, I admit that much, but I like a heavy controller, and this is not a heavy controller, this is a controller for everybody. This is a controller your kids can use, your teens can use, grown-ups can use. It's one of those controllers that's very versatile, uh, but it doesn't, doesn't seem to specialise in anything other than looking pretty. And it does look pretty, take my word for it. This, this Even if it looks nice on camera, forget it, it looks even better in person. So this video was all my own opinions, uh, my, my first impressions opinions. I pay for this with my own money and uh, nobody had any creative control over this video but me. If you have any questions or comments pop them down below and I will try to answer every comment on the video. Until next time I want to say a big thank you to our channel sponsor Button Bashers and our Patreon patrons who support the channel in their unique ways. And of course a big thank you to my Discord who are always there to make fun of me for being old whenever I need them. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to those around you. Bye bye for now.